Hi and welcome to this video. My name is Dave Hiddeman. I'm the application specialist for the steel segment here at Trimble. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about object level settings and how you can use those to customize and automate your drawing output. So here I have an example of a GA drawing, a simple plan showing some different types of objects. I have some beams, some braces, and some joists, and I may want to display those differently in my drawing or give them different types of marks. Now, if you're using the US Imperial environment, our default drawing settings already have a lot of object level settings in place. So I'm not going to start with those because I, I want to start with something simple. That way you understand how they work to begin with so you can modify the ones that are there or come up with your own. So in this example, even though it is a planned drawing, I've gone ahead and disabled the object level settings that were out of the box just so that we can get a good idea of how these work from, from a starting point. So as a general rule of thumb, before you even start adjusting object level settings, you want to set up the base drawing settings for the majority. So here the, the majority of the objects on this drawing are beams, so I want to set those up before I even start worrying about object level settings. So I'll go ahead and I'll say, all right, for most of these beams, I want them to be shown as symbols or lines. So I'll go ahead and change this uh, drawing level property to say, give me symbol. I'll hit modify, and now everything goes ahead and changes to be just a line because it is a drawing level setting. Now, if I wanted to control things like the joist differently or the braces differently, um, what I would have to do without object level settings is I'd have to come in here and double click on these and then change their setting to something like symbol with partial profile and then modify, but then I would have to do that for every single brace. So that's not really very um, friendly for time or, or just ease of use. So an object level setting is where we can define this to come in that way automatically. So the first thing you want to do when you're setting an object level setting is you want to teach this drawing how to find that type of object. This could be a filter based on the name or a profile type or something like that. So I'm going to come in here to my drawing filter. When you're doing this and setting this up for your own drawings, I always recommend checking out the existing filters first because chances are there may be one in place already that you can rely on. But let's just say for the sake of argument that there isn't one. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll create a new filter. I'll add a row. And in this case, I'm going to build this for a uh, WT brace. I happen to know that the name is brace, or at least contains the word brace. So I'm going to set up a filter that does that. So I'll say here, part name, I'll change this to contains, and we'll have it contain the word brace. I'll come up here and I'll save this filter away. I'll just call this brace filter. And then you don't want to hit modify here. If I did that, everything from the drawing that wasn't a brace would disappear. And that's not really what I'm trying to do. I'm simply teaching the drawing how to identify what a brace is. So I'll go ahead and cancel this after creating the filter. And now next I want to set up what should this brace look like once the drawing finds it. And to do that, I would go to the part properties. So here I'll go to the part properties. What I want to set up a brace to do is a symbol with partial profile. What this is going to do is give me a sort of a, a partial shape in the middle of it so that I can see the orientation of this brace. So I'll go ahead and say, all right, uh, symbol with partial profile. Just for fun, let's make this also colored blue. And then we'll say, uh, save this with the name uh, brace um, appearance. A little wordy, but that'll work for us. Again, I don't want to hit modify right now because that would update the entire sheet, and that's not really what I'm going for. So I'll go ahead, after teaching it what a brace should look like and saving that, I'll go ahead and cancel. So in order to use these object level settings, what you want to do is go here to this middle field right below all of the titles. Uh, you have the option to use detailed object level settings, and then there's a button called edit settings. If I click that, what this opens up is a place to build these uh, rows of rules. So I'll come in here and say add row. It's already defaulted to the filter that I just built. So uh, in here you can see there's all of my drawing level filters. So there's brace filter. What do I want to change? Well, I want to change the properties that were found under the part button. So I'll just go ahead and leave that as part. And then again, it's automatically choosing the ones that I just built. But there are all the pre-saved settings for how parts should look. Now, as soon as I have that line built, I can go ahead and click modify. And you should see that the braces, but nothing else, take on that appearance. So you can do this for all kinds of parts. So if I come in here and I'll build a new filter. So I'll go ahead and click New Filter. I'll add a row. And I'll say Part Name. And in this case, I'll change it to Contains the word Joist. Again, I'll give this a special name. Joist Filter. Save As. Again, I want to cancel because I'm simply teaching it what a joist is. And then I'll go back to my part, 
how do I want my joists to look? Well, I want them to be a symbol. I want their appearance to be green. And I want them to be a phantom line. So I'll save this away as joist appearance. Once more, now that I have the filter defined and I have what those objects should look like defined, I can come here, click Edit Settings, add a new row, choose my joist filter, again affecting the part, and then choosing joist appearance. So you can see how now the joists automatically change without changing the beams or the braces or anything else. It is important to note that these object level settings read from the top down. So if you have a rule that affects possibly more than one type of part, you want to make sure that they are in the order from top to bottom of importance. Um, so just something to keep in mind when you're actually setting these up. It's not just used for part appearances though. You can also use it for things like part marks. So I'll come up here to my part mark. My joists, I don't really care about the shipping mark for a joist, so I'll go ahead and I will remove the assembly position. And then maybe I will change the position of this mark to, instead of being on the start handle, I'll go ahead and tell it you should be positioned in the middle of the part. So I'll save this again as joist mark. I'll say save as, and then I can add another line to my object level settings using the same joist filter, but this time I want to change this to use the part mark. I wanted to use the joist mark setting and modify my drawing. And you can see there that all of the joist marks are now moved to the center. They've removed their piece mark and only showing the profile. So that kind of stuff can be used to set up all kinds of different appearance properties for a drawing. Just to give you an idea of how many are set up in the default plan settings for the US Imperial environment, let me go ahead and reload plan. And you can see that there are quite a few already defined in here for things like your braces and your joists and other types of shapes. Also things like concrete uh, for the appearance, for the marks. And this is just in the steel detailing role. Every role is going to have its own. So you can customize these object level settings to really automate a lot of the stuff that you're probably setting up now manually in your drawings. It's also important to note that this does not just apply to plan drawing. If I go and just look at assembly drawing properties, and I load up something like the default beam with BOM, there are several object level settings in there as well for controlling how shop bolts should appear versus field bolts, how marks for slip critical bolts should show up versus regular bolts. So don't just get focused on what can happen in a GA drawing. It's all drawing types these can be used on. So as always, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any additional questions, feel free to reach out to your local help desk, and thanks for watching.